Chris from Misty Robotics here to get you up and running as quickly as possible with the .NET SDK. So the very first thing is that you're gonna to have to have a version of Visual Studio itself. Uh, you can go to visualstudio.microsoft.com and download it there. Uh, the community edition is free, uh, although if you are using professional enterprise, this will still work just fine. The next thing that you're gonna to wanna to make sure you download is the Misty Skill Extension. The Misty Skill Extension is gonna make it a lot easier for you to generate new skills for your robot and it handles all of the, uh, the templating and the manifests and creation of the GUID and all that stuff for you. To install it, all you need to do is go down to the, the VISIX, V-S-I-X file. Um, after you've installed Visual Studio, you can just double click it and what it'll do is make sure to install it in your in the instance that you designate. Now, once you have the skill extension installed and Visual Studio ready to go, go ahead and open up Visual Studio. Um, and what you're gonna wanna do is just do File, New, Project. And you'll notice that there is now a Misty native skill option. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna call this Misty native skill getting started. Now, if you click OK, this will create a new project and solution file for you. Um, sometimes it takes a little while, so don't be nervous if uh, it's taking longer than you anticipate. So you notice on the, on the solution side, the name of the solution is actually the same as the one that we just designated when we created the new project. Now, there is a few setup things that we wanna make sure uh, we do first. If you right click on the project itself and click properties, if you go over to debug and we wanna change the target device to be from device to remote machine. Now this is what's going to enable Misty to deploy or Visual Studio to deploy your new skill to Misty. So here you're going to want to put the IP address of your robot and you're going to want to make sure to change this authentication mode from Windows, which is a default, to universal unencrypted protocol. The last part is making sure that the solution platform is set to ARM. So I'm going to hit Control S, that's going to save my settings. Now I'm going to go back and we are ready to deploy. The template file will create a lot of very basic code for you, but the entry point for any skill is called the onStart method. So what I've, what I've done here is I've already created uh, a few additions to blink the LED. But one of the most interesting components about using Visual Studio is the ability to step through your code in real time. So to do that, I wanna make sure that I set a breakpoint right here in the onStart method. Now we're ready to go to deploy and see what this actually does. So up at the top, I'm gonna to go and click remote machine and you'll notice in my output window, the build has started and the deploy has started. Now sometimes this can take a little while, so don't worry if it seems to take a little bit longer than you're used to. So the first time that you deploy your skill, you're probably gonna get some type of error that looks like this. Now, this is nothing to worry about. This is just the robot trying to start and deploy your skill at the same time. So all you need to do is just continue. It will stop the, stop the skill, and then we're just gonna deploy one more time. And so this should properly attach our debugger to our skill that's gonna enable us to step through the code. So I've got my breakpoint set. I've deployed once, and now I'm going to deploy for the second time to make sure that we're able to properly connect the debugger. I'm gonna click remote machine. And you'll see in my output window, deploy started. Okay, so now you notice that I am in the debugger. It's awaiting something to happen there. I am now gonna go over to my skill runner 
and you'll see that I have Misty Native still getting started. When I click Start, I'm going to open up my, oh, and it looks like here we go. So here we are. We are now officially walking through and stepping over code that is running on the robot using Visual Studio's uh, debug environment. So if I step over, I'm going to move the camera here so you can see this. As I step over the code, now that one turned the LED on, which it was already on. It's going to wait a second. Now I'm going to click change LED. There you go. It turned off. I'm stepping over. Turn it back on. So there we go. So what we just did is we were able to generate a skill from scratch using the template generator. We were able to connect the debugger and deploy code directly onto the robot and then step through code that is running in real time on your robot itself. So this is the real foundation and power of using the .NET SDK is that it enables you to very easily write your code, check out your code, debug your code all within Visual Studio itself. So we're gonna be doing a lot more of these types of videos in the future. Uh, the best place, if there's anything specific that you want us to cover, go ahead and check out community.mistyrobotics.com. Also in the description of this video, we're gonna to link to all of the documentation for the .NET SDK itself, as well as the relevant links to go ahead and download the skill, the skill extension itself. Um, if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us, especially in the community forums, and we're looking to do more of this stuff in the future. Thanks.